I'd like to do an angle beam calibration using the DSC test block. The equipment I have is an Olympus Epic 1000i machine and I'm using a 45 degree screw on wedge with a uh, two and a quarter megahertz a half inch diameter transducer. And I'm using the DSC block. This block has the zero for your beam index point is machined right here. And then the radius, if my from the, the zero to here, this is a one inch radius. And then from here to here is a three inch radius. So when I put uh, my transducer on here, I will see a one inch reflector plus three is four, plus one is five, and then four more would be nine. So I'll see a one inch, a five inch, and a nine inch reflector. Another thing that's interesting about this block is that on the edge with the three inch radius, there is a one thirty second inch wide groove that is cut at uh, 0.375 inches deep and we use that for our reference and also um, I can measure the angle of my transducer shooting at this hole and it's 45 to 70 looks like 75 degrees um, uh, scale here so let's start by uh, changing the range to 10 inches set my screen range at 10 inches <clears throat> set my velocity at 0.128 inches per microsecond your standard uh, uh, shear velocity in uh, mild steel zero set to zero my range is set to 10 inches and of course um, in the trig I have 45 degree set for my angle and in my uh, pulser 2.27 uh, megahertz. Uh, I want to make sure that your uh, machine closely matches your uh, transducer frequency. So I'm going to put the um, transducer on and I can see three ref reflectors. I know that's a one inch reflector. This one here is a five inch and that's a nine inch. So let me uh, take down my gain a little bit so I can see that one inch radius at a, uh, at a little bit easier angle to work with. Now let's hit peak memory and I'm going to move my transducer back and forth again to establish my beam index point and we can see the peak memory and right about there I'm peaked right in the middle of that signal and you see the dialog box says P for peak memory. Let me shut that down. So, um, that's my one inch radius. That's my five inch and that's my nine inch. So, uh, again, we want to mark our beam index point. This is the zero machine. We want to transfer that to uh, our wedge. And I have a piece of masking tape with my beam index point marked on there. Beam index point is where all my trig functions, all my measurements come from. So right now I have this transducer uh, position for maximum energy. I'm gonna take my gate and make sure I capture this one inch radius. I'm gonna take it to 80% full screen height and I'm gonna press my auto cal button. I'm gonna cal zero. My sound path is one inch, so I want to change it. Tell the machine that it's looking at a one inch sound path. And there he is. All right, right there. Hit the uh, continue button. And then I can move my gate over and capture my five inch radius. Or I can capture the 9 inch radius, but I'm going to capture the 5. Take that to 80% full screen height. Do a cal velocity. And 
change this to a five inch sound path and then hit the check to calibrate and there we go calculate calibrated so now I'm calibrated let's take the gate and run it over here my first reflector my first radius and we will see take the 8% full screen height that's a one inch sound path so one inch move that gate over to capture this take an 8% full screen height and what we see is five inch sound path one inch plus three inches is four plus one more five inches and then we'll see out here let's move the gate out and we'll see a nine inch radius out here nine inch reflector and if I take that up to an eight percent full screen height we'll see again it's nine inches one and three is is four five three is eight one is nine let me show you something else you can flip this guy around and you can see a three inch this transducer zero here we would see a three inch three inch seven inch and an 11 inch reflector let me change my range to 11 inches so my gate if I move my gate over here capture this guy going in this direction we have three inches and then we will come over here and this radius will be seven inches and then if you come all the way out here this will be 11 inches sound path so that, that's uh, kind of some of the different um, uh, reflected uh, radiuses you can get on this machine so let's take a look let's measure now that I'm calibrated Let's measure the angle of my transducer. So I'm going to take my range down to something oh, a little more manageable. Let's take it down to, a, I don't know, inch and a half. That looks, whoops, too far. Inch and a half. Because what we have here is a, we have a side drill hole. And that is an eighth of an inch diameter. So to measure my angle my transducer this is a 45 degree so here's 45 degrees up to 70 so I'm going to put about the 45 degree and when I see see that that single popping up let me put a little more coupling on there kind of run it dry a little more coupling um, and 45 degrees So this, so this hole right here, let me take the gain down a little bit. And let's hit the peak memory. And I'll look at that. Find the peak of that signal. Right about there is the peak of my signal. And, um, if I look at the 45 degree, it matches perfectly to my beam index point. So this wedge is a perfect 45 degree. Now to set our reference level, we want to we want to look at our three inch radius here. So let me move my uh, let me open up my range so I can see that three inch radius, and there it is right there. Uh, I'm going to set this guy at three and a half inch sound path move my gate over here and um, bring this guy down to 8% full screen height 
Let me peek him. My gain's a little bit hot. Bring it down a little bit more. And uh, let's peek that signal. Right there. So that's my three inch radius. My sound path reads three inches. Now let's take a look at this guy. That little notch, I said a 32nd of an inch cut that is uh, 0.375 inches deep. So if we could look down in here, 0.375 inches down, we have a, a, a 32nd of an inch notch. If I move my gate over here, and then if I add some gain, we will see that little notch. See him coming up right here? That's him. There he is right there. Let me take him to 80% full screen height. Now that would be my reference level. Because I'm shooting down here, I'm catching that, that little uh, 30 second of an inch wide notch. And if I adjust it to 80% full screen height with my gain, my reference gain is 52.5 dB. And um, I have a sound path of uh, 0.2, uh, 2.65 uh 625 inches that's that's that little notch there so that is what you would use as your reference um uh reference setting for your gain